Hello everyone! In this video we'll be showing you how to boot virtual machines from backup using Altero VM Backup. Boot from Backup is a new feature in Altero VM Backup version 7 that allows administrators to boot a virtual machine from backup storage while a restore job runs in the background. Once that restore job is done, the administrator can shut down the VM booted from backup, commit the changes that occurred while the VM was running in this fashion, and then boot the newly recovered VM. The feature greatly reduces the amount of time needed to get end users back up and running in the event of a server failure. This feature can be reached from the Altero VM Backup Console. Simply click Boot from Backup in the left-hand pane. If any VMs are currently booted from backup, they will appear on this screen. And as you likely don't have any running in this mode currently, click Boot a VM from Backup to move on. We offer two different options for this feature. The first is Verification Mode, which allows you to temporarily boot a VM from backup to verify that the backups for the selected VM work with this feature. This mode is also useful for situations where you need access to an older set of data temporarily and no changes need to be retained, as the changes are discarded once you're done when booting a VM from backup using this mode. The second option is Recovery Mode, which is the process I described earlier. You would select Recovery Mode if you have a protected VM that is offline and you need to quickly get it back online using the backup storage while a recovery job runs in the background. Again, any changes made to the VM or its data while booted in recovery mode will be retained upon completion of the recovery process. For the purposes of this video, we're going to select recovery mode and then click next to move on. Select the restore source and click next. Choose the virtual machine you would like to boot from backup and then click next. Select the backup version you'd like to boot and recover from. Define a name for the booted VM, and then select the host and the storage location to be used for that virtual machine once recovery is complete. Finally, select whether or not you want the virtual NIC to be enabled or not when the boot from backup VM comes online by checking or unchecking the checkbox, then click boot. Click on view booted virtual machine backups to watch the job's progress as the VM boots and the recovery job begins. At this time, the workload is usable, and if you'd like, you can even open the management console for your hypervisor and see the VM up and running. Note that you can verify the VM booted from backup, as the name will be appended with the words Instant Boot. Once the recovery operation is completed, and you're ready to commit changes and switch back to production storage with the newly recovered VM, click Finalize VM Recovery. The Instant Boot VM is shut down, the final changes are committed, and the recovered VM will boot back up, and the process is complete. To answer one final common question, it is possible to run more than one VM from backup at a time, but take note that as most backup storage is not as fast as production storage systems, performance of the VM may be impacted as a result while booted from backup. Your results will be dependent on the underlying infrastructure of your backup hardware. Thanks for watching this how-to video, and be sure to check out our other how-to videos on our YouTube channel or at www.altero.com.